getting ready to use three pumpkins that I got for free over at Vaughn's the day after Halloween. Now that's because these are considered jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, which are here for carving and not for eating. But I feel that's a little wasteful because I've eaten this and it's perfectly fine. And when you look up some recipes though, they say, don't get those big jack-o'-lantern ones. Get the little ones, they're really good for eating. And so I'm gonna show you how I eat these big pumpkins. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some in my lentils that I'm making for dinner. But I'm gonna cut it up and peel it, and then we're just gonna toss it in with the lentils as it cooks. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make pumpkin puree so I can make a lot of little things with it. Right, so we're gonna just use one pumpkin today, but I'm gonna get started. Okay, so we have um, a pumpkin cut into small bits and we're putting them in. And we've got some oil in there. So we're going to stir it around in the pan and get it cooking, searing, and then we're going to actually put the lentils in and boil them all together but we're going to get this started um, it caramelizes a little bit when it gets heated usually the pumpkin does so that's what we're looking to see if it'll happen this time gotcha. okay this is pumpkin with lentils garlic bay leaf and onion Hot. Decent. Pumpkin is not exceptionally awesome. Maybe that's why you don't use the big pumpkin. It's all right. Okay, one. An onion, garlic, cumin. Nicely browning in oil. Add pumpkin, a little sugar and salt, and then cover and let cook. A lot of pumpkin. I gotta put this down so I can do more pumpkin. A little brown sugar. And sugar brings out the sweetness in the pumpkin. And then I just put it on low, cover and cook, and the water in the pumpkin will come out. Look at that, isn't it looking pretty already? I love that sort of golden look to the pumpkin. A little bit toasty. Right, this is a very old pumpkin, and we are trying to decide whether we can still cook it. First of all, it's one of those uh, hard outside pumpkins. I'm going to kill myself trying to cut this open. Second of all, we do not know what it looks like inside. And, oh boy, this is really hard. So the question we had when we got it for free was, is it a pumpkin that can be cooked? Wow, oh my gosh. And, wow, I don't know. I'm gonna be able to do this.
So I've been cooking a lot of pumpkins and um, this is the last one. I got a bunch for free on November 1st, the day after um, the day after um, Halloween. And they're the type that I usually put on for display. I suppose now you know why. Oh my God. Okay, that's better. Ugh. It's gonna take me a while to do this. And I don't know, because it's so old now, what the seeds look like inside, if they're growing or anything. You know? I was wondering if I would actually ever get around to cutting it. But yes, I, I am getting around to cutting it. As this video proves, Wow, I don't know that I would try to do this again. We'll see, I want to see what it tastes like, you know. I saw some videos that said these pumpkins can be eaten. Wow, incredible. Oh, wow. If you just smash it on the floor and break it open. Need a hammer or something. Maybe that's the trick. Okay, here we go. Continuing on. Okay, that's a good way to get some weight on it for sure. Okay, here it is. Okay, turn off you. And I think it's pretty good enough. Going in pretty easily, so I'm gonna take it out and let it cool. And then we will scrape it out. And we will figure out what to do to make it puree. Right, here it is after 40, 80, 90 hours of baking. And it's still a little hard to dig in and get it out of the pumpkin, but it's a lot easier than before. I don't know if with a regular pumpkin it would be this hard after twice the amount of baking, but I'm not too worried. I'm just going to scoop it out, put it in the bowl, and then we're going to figure out what to do with it next. This is how this is how much pumpkin I got out of it. <clears throat> and this bowl is pretty sturdy. So I'm going to use it to serve pumpkin soup. Doesn't that sound like fun? Hopefully there are no holes in it. I cannot use this one because I cracked it. I must have um, tried multiple times in multiple places to open it. And so this one will go in the trash. Unless, of course, can I can I use that much of it? It's possible. Maybe I'll save it just in case. Okay, pumpkin soup. Half an onion, half a large yellow onion. Three or four cloves of garlic. I doubled it. Three tablespoons of better than bouillon. And four or five or maybe six cups of water. We're going to boil it, and then we're going to blend it. Okay. Mixing it up. It's going to take a bit. There it is. All puree. 
put a dollop of cream on. This is um, coconut cream. This is how much leaped out of the pumpkin. So good thing I had the bowl under it.